A man who admitted to selling black market medications into the U.S. supply chain for the last decade, victimizing both patients and pharmacists, is going to jail for 15 years. Lazaro Hernandez of Miami, Florida, was indicted by the U.S. Justice Department in June of 2022 for selling over $200 million of black market HIV and other medications into the U.S. drug supply chain. According to court documents, Mr. Hernandez acquired diverted medication, sometimes empty bottles, and filled them with other objects, falsified documentation, and then sold them back into the supply chain through wholesale companies owned by himself and sometimes other people. Patients reported that sometimes they received bottles with pebbles instead of their real medication, their life-saving medication, or other drugs that were, they were not supposed to be taking. This is just one of two cases concluded by the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of Florida that wrapped up in June. The other case ran from Mr. Hernandez's activities from 2013 to 2019 and included black market HIV cancer and psychiatric medication which he has admitted to selling into the legit legitimate supply chain. He pled guilty in both cases to the crimes and was sentenced to 15 years. Our great thanks again go to the agencies and the U.S. attorneys who worked hard on bringing this criminal to justice who victimized patients in pharmacies for 10 years. This week, we have two other videos about big kingpin criminals who have been victimizing the HIV and other patient communities. Check them out on our YouTube channel.